So with more, let's turn our attention to Todd Lewis, who's covering this week's PGA Tour stop in Austin, Texas. Todd, which group stands out to you now that we've gone through all 64 players in the field? Well, George, I'm going to get to that moment. Uh, I've been to every WGC Dell Technologies match play since it's been here in Austin, and this is the seventh and final time that we're going to have this event here in Austin. We're going to miss the Penny Backer Bridge and right here by Lake Austin and, and some exciting holes on this golf course at Austin Country Club as well. This is the par 4 13th that's reachable, uh, so you're going to see a lot of electricity on this hole as well. But getting back to what you originally asked me, which group am I looking forward to watching? I like that second group, John Rahm. First, John Rahm is John Rahm. He's a great player. He's played beautifully in 2023. The only thing that slowed him down is a stomach bug at the players. Billy Horschel won this event two years ago. Keith Mitchell has been playing well. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was in contention at Riviera in the Genesis Invitational. And then there's Ricky Fowler, a resurgent Ricky Fowler, who's playing in this championship for the first time since 2016. He's back to working with Butch Harmon. He's established some more confidence in his game. We're going to find out where Ricky Fowler is with his game in that first match on Wednesday when John Rahm right here at Austin Country Club. So I like that second group a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. Todd, Rory McIlroy is headlining Group 3 this week in Austin. The last time we saw him, he missed the cut of the players, seemed fairly frustrated with his driver. Is there any update on that front? You know, it's interesting. Right after his disappointing missed cut at the players, and he was very frustrated and unhappy with the way he was driving the ball, he went to Augusta National for two days of practice rounds, and according to folks that were with him, he drove the ball beautifully there. So he kind of reestablished some confidence with the driver at Augusta National. Look, when you play the stadium course at Sawgrass, it can kind of get tight on you. Um, the rust's not super, super high and dense. It's not like a U.S. Open, but there's lots of water, and it can – and it can really give you some insecurities off the tee. And I think that's what was happening with Rory. He did work with his manufacturer over the weekend. He's keeping the same head as far as his driver goes. Don't be surprised if he has a shorter shaft, a, a shorter length shaft driver, which will give him a little more accuracy. But I wouldn't be too concerned if you're a Rory McIlroy fan uh, about where he is with his driver. Todd, as you look at this year's field, some rookie names you may not be as familiar with if you're the average PGA Tour fan. What do you make of the level of experience out in Austin this week? You know, we, we're, we're diving into that, and this may be the most inexperienced match play field in the history of this championship, not counting the very first one, of course, and mainly because a lot of players that played in this championship some really strong players have now moved on to live. Uh, so you got you got rookies in this field. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about PGA Tour rookies, not just rookies playing in this for the first time. So there's not a lot of ex not as much experience, I should say, as we have seen in years past. Now, last year, eight of the top 16 seeds made it out of pool play because there isn't that much depth as far as experience goes here. You, you kind of think chalk is going to get through pool play as well. Look for a lot of the top seeds to make it out of, of pool competition and, and make it to uh, the weekend to play for this championship. Todd, could be helpful, though, for some of these young guys who are just playing match play in college. Now they're PGA Tour sure. rookies and have some familiarity with the format, obviously, from their amateur careers. Well, you can yes, you can say that, but you could also say that the, the top players are – are the better players <laughs> so you know it, it'll be interesting to see it, it, it's it, it but I, I mean I love this event I think it's a lot of fun you may have you know from uh if you look at a PGA Tour schedule outside maybe the major championships and the players of course those first two maybe three days of competition Wednesday Thursday Friday are some of the most exciting weekday uh, events at golf until the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year, Cameron Young, is making some news already on Monday with a new caddy, and it sounds like it's a pretty familiar old face. Yeah, you know, we, we just found this news out about a half hour ago. Webb Simpson uh, just announced on social media that he and his longtime caddy and really good friend, Paul Tesori, have decided to mutually part ways. Now, these two have been together for more than a dozen years. Paul was on the bag when Webb won the U.S. Open back in 2012. When he won the players in 2018. He served as his swing coach in a lot of areas as well. Um, so this is a bit of a surprise. Webb Simpson and Paul Tesori have decided to part ways, especially Webb played really well at the Valspar Championship over the weekend. 
but that has happened. Uh, it seems to be amicable. Uh, no, you know, no problems there. They're still going to remain friends. Uh, but now Paul Tesori has a new bag in Cameron Young, who, of course, is the rookie of the year last year and a rising player on the PGA Tour. So that duo, it, we, we, I was talking with our producers, that may be the longest running caddy player relationship out on the PGA Tour until now that is ended. Todd, level of surprise to the news. Um, yeah, I was I was pretty surprised because, uh, you know, I'm friends with both of them as well. Uh, they, and I see how tight they are. They hang out together all the time. I've never seen them. Even if there is some conflict, and you're always going to have conflict for, between a player and caddy, it never is, you know, it, it never gets to a point where it's too frictional. Um, they, they just seem like they're great, great friends. And, I, and, I, and they will remain great friends. But it's a, it's a surprise to see these two split up but you know it happens out here they've been together for over 12 years so they've had a great run